Welcome back guys to another modern. We're gonna call it laboratory. Um today we're taking a look at a deck that was commissioned by someone named Nick. Uh not gonna use last name because I don't know if they'd want me to. Uh it's a Gitrog Monster combo deck in modern. And I just kind of went over it in stream a little bit already, but uh basically you want to get to the end step. There's a lot of things that happen in the cleanup step, right? Um So what you can do is you're gonna have to discard, right? You go to the cleanup step, you have to discard, you discard a land, right? And then it lets you draw another land because this is whenever one of our lands are put to the graveyard, draw a card. Um, and so if you discard Dakmore Salvage, you can then dredge the Dakmore Salvage drawing that, uh, which would dredge two more lands. So hopefully they'll dredge more lands. Um, and then you'll be able to draw more cards. And you have, they also have Lightning Storm, which whenever you discard a land, you put two counters on it to kill your opponent. So you can discard a land and then draw a card. Um, Collective Brutality, discard a land, draw a card. Edge of Autumn, Cycling, Sacrifice a land, draw a card. Grapple with the Past, top three cards, draw some cards. Um, interesting to note, though, uh, it says whenever one or more land cards are put into your graveyard from anywhere, draw a card. So if you do hit two lands with Dakmore Salvage, you're only going to draw one. You're only going to draw one card. Um, same thing with, uh, like, Grapple with the Past. If you hit three lands, you're still going to draw one card because it's one or more lands. Like, it's, it's per ability, right? So... Um, the Emrakul is actually in the deck so you don't mill yourself. So you can uh, dredge with these Dakmore salvages, get to the bottom of your library, and then still shuffle everything back in so you're not like just running out of cards. Um, good uh, good to note that uh, this, is, looks, this deck looks insanely complicated, especially because of timing issues, because of doing things on the cleanup step, um, because there's a lot of things going on. But I am looking forward to playing with it because it seems pretty sweet. Uh, I don't think we have Splendid Reclamation because we actually just don't want lands into play. Like, we don't care about the lands being on the battlefield. We actually want them in the deck so we can shuffle them back with Emrakul and then keep drawing cards. Um, also, Lily out of the Veil with making each player discard a card. If you're discarding a land and then drawing a land, it's pretty good. So, um... Yeah, deck looks sweet. I'm really excited about it. We do have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Seven fetch lands. We also have uh, four the the full suite of four ghost quarters, um, which is nice because you can sack a ghost quarter, draw a card, um, search for a land, get a lotus cobra like lotus cobra mana. Yeah, there's a bunch of different tricks you can do with this deck, which is really interesting. Um, and I have little doubt that we're gonna end up uh, misplaying and losing rounds because of that. But this also doesn't seem like a deck that you're just gonna learn how to play. Uh, in five in five rounds, right? So I think that the point is to get a feel for the deck, see how it does, and see if we can make any improvements to it while we're doing it. So let's try that. Also, Skyward Sky Skyward Fire Games, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. This is tempting to keep because we can cast three things and try to hit more lands. I'm going to keep this hand. And if we hit any green source, we can edge bottom for uh, four land. All right. Well, this is interesting. Interesting. Do you just take faithless looting here? That's that's interesting. Pretty sure it's faithless looting here. They also have four cards. Hmm. Gitrog monster. Oh, that's just sad. All right, so we're definitely going to want a green and a red, probably. Skyward Fire Games, thank you so much, man. That's awesome to hear. I love it. So, the black is important for these two, but if we get a green, any land lets us cast the black cards, right? So, I think we're just getting stomping ground here. We're also discarding Raven's Crime and trying to hit any 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 black source. any Actually, any source at all. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll discard Brown Scale and Raven's Crime, I think.
<laughs> lands unlanded. This is interesting. Mox. Oh, are we just, is this just, did I think this, I thought this was affinity and it turns out it's lantern. That's pretty awkward, right? Oh yeah, that's great. Sure. Hey, we get to hit a land though. It is not a uh, green source, but that's fine because we actually get to still do a thing. Uh, no, we will draw the land. What are we gonna name here? Frog Horror? What's Lizard? Oh, Golgari Brown scales a lizard, I guess. All right, we'll just name Frog. Albarn, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate you saying so. Um, all right, so one thing we can do is we can either Edge of Autumn. We can't abrupt decay. I think we actually we just have to Edge of Autumn here. There's nothing else we can do. Swamperino. Oh, uh, actually, don't mind having Overgrown Tomb on the top. We actually, I mean, our way to we don't really care about bridge. We just care about, uh, we have lightning, lightning storm on the top. So they drew glimmer and they played it bridge. Sure. Just take realms uncharted here. Yeah, that's sure. And abrupt decay or thought seize. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we get to see what they have now. Cancel. Well, we don't want that guy. Uh, nope. Do I want an Inquisition here? I don't think so. Do I want a brown scale? Probably want the brown scale in hand, right? Discard Surgical Extraction. Discard 2. We'll discard Emrakul. And Fatal Push. So long, Graveyard. Why do we care about... We don't care about Bridge. We're, we're winning with Lightning Storm. I guess we'll take your last card. I guess we won't. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. So you go Spire Bridge. Sure. Needle. I guess we just play brown scale. I don't think we play brown scale here. Hmm. I think you can needle a lightning storm. All right. So we're not going to play brown scale because it's probably just better in the hand. Right, we're never attacking with this guy, so there's really no point. Ink. 
Ancient stirrings. Ooh, I like that. I like using that. I like on your draw step we can uh we can ancient stirrings you. So you know you have needle. Give me that ancient stirrings. Got you, got you, got you, and got you. Let's just take a gander. We'll just, I mean, it's pretty standard. Lantern, I imagine, but we'll still take a, take a peek. Keep you right over here, just in case. Graph Digger's Cage. Sure. Needle cage. <clears throat> uh, we have one main deck surgical, but we can actually keep shuffling it back in with... Uh... Emrakul. Inquisition, huh? Now we're going to play this just so we can Realms Uncharted here. So, Lantern. Players can't cast spells from graveyards. Where libraries, creature cards, can enter the mouth. Sure, I don't care about that. The best part is I don't think they have any idea what we're doing, so. Oh, what do they needle here, I wonder? I am curious as to your needle target. Your needle choice. You're not targeting, so. Yeah, I once Pithing Needle to Pithing Needle on accident because I was distracted. So I was like, oh, I'll play Pithing Needle, Pithing Needle. Oh, no, I Pithing Needle to Pithing Needle. Ghost Quarter. Ooh. Cute. <laughs> get a Dakmore Salvage. We'll get... Uh, we're just going to get a Ghost Quarter because if we have a way to deal with Pithing Needle, if we can Abrupt Decade or something, it's pretty good. I still just want to have one. Um, get a... I want to I want to be able to keep the basics in hand. Uh, or the, not the basics, the basics in the deck so that we have ways to... Uh, we have things to search for. Uchizu, congrats, buddy. 8-0 is pretty solid. I imagine this can be Ghost Quarter Dak more salvage. Yeah, that seems fine. Lotus Cobrano. So, uh, activate ability source, champion activate inside mana ability, sure. Was there a deck that was linked in Discord? I don't remember linking any decks in the Discord. Oh, Sarah, you said something and then Brandon said something in response. Oh, that makes me sad. That just seems like a... Uh, 
that seems like a miscommunication if you if you see um what happened all right so they're drawing a lantern number dose uh-huh sanctum We actually don't want to fetch these because we want to save them for the monster, but they don't have great ways to stop the monster at this point, which is nice to nice to know. I don't know if we draw a Lotus Cobra here. I don't think we dredge life from the loam yet. We don't have anything in the graveyard for that, so we'll just cancel. We'll just take it. I guess we can get these back with life from the loam. Mm, yeah, a lot of green. What's up, Juposhi and Chris? Good seeing you guys. Um, I don't actually know. Like, this is going to take a while. That this might be the concern is like the the duration the the length of time this takes to be. But I think we do want to thin our deck a little bit here. Also, I don't think we want to draw Lotus Cobra. Let's get a we'll get a f f mountain. Don't want Bloodstain Mire. Not going to use it this time. Crack you. They don't have Sanctum. They get Lantern number three on top. I'm just going to get basics here because they... Ooh, I like Collective... Do I like Collective Brutality? Not really, but I guess we're not... Yeah, I guess we're just going to... I guess we're just going to dredge life from the loam here. And an Emrakul. That's pretty good. Because that shuffles everything back in. Raven's Crime? Well, that doesn't do anything. All right. <sighs> All right. Well, so we're just going to dredge try to get that Raven's Crime in the graveyard. Triple Lanterns. Lanterns? Triple Lanterns are good because... They're not like Pixis or the other card. They're much more restricted in letting uh, letting them control our draws. Oh no! Nope. All right. I think we actually want a way to get a creature back from the graveyard. Because if we mill a Gitrog monster, like, we don't really have a way to get it back. Uh, I don't think we want that. I think we just want the Edge of Autumn here. We got Salvage, Edge of Autumn. We're just going to... Do we just want Surgical Extraction here? I think we do. Get Trog on Tippity Top. Boy, they kind of have to get rid of that, don't they? The Six Different Arts for Wrath of God, which is your favorite? Uh, wait, aren't they all the same? <laughs> I don't understand. So you have Glimmer Void on top. Now I have Inquisition on top. That's sad. I don't want that at all. I feel like we're taking much more time just because we have to write every single thing that they do down. Oh, two Gitrog monsters.
the funny thing is we if we dredged Dakmore Salvage instead of Life from the Loam, we would have gotten we would have had this guy on top. Uh War of Invention is pretty scary. We don't want to draw Overgrown Tomb though. Um I think during upkeep we just get rid of lanterns here. Oh, that's not going to do it. Eh, he's black. Sure. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I actually forgot about that. God, why aren't you in collective brutality? Why are you the way that you are? Yeah, I feel like we're going to lose due to time here more than anything. But this is a really frustrating matchup, too. So, We're playing this now because we'll never get to a point where they have um, a card in their hand. So they're just going to Word of Invention for, like, Witchbane Orb, right? That seems good. Here we go. For one, just get Relic? Codex Shredder? It's gotta be Codex Shredder. Yep. So long, Abrupt Decay. Do we just get enough mana to actually cast an Emrakul at some point? One, two. Juposhi with 50 bones. Oh my god, dude. Slap draft save. You slap Mike every time you lose a game. He gets to slap you every time you win a game. Wow. I don't know if I can agree to that yet. I, Dude, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Um, however, I don't know if I can agree to that without Mike being here and agreeing to that as well. It seems fair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like, we're almost at just cast Emrakul mana, right? Seems pretty good. Chiposhi, thank you so much, man. You are awesome. Get rid of the bridge. Now you get to draw Dark Slick Shores. Now you get to draw Mox Opal. What a dummy. Could be a, a slap Rob stip. Rob is apparently joining the stream at some point this week. That's what he that's what he tells me anyway. Why would you play that? It's legendary. That's weird. None of these are good. One, two, three, four. Really? Another word invention on top. I think we're just dead here. One, two, three, four. 
Wow, dude. Wow. Another one for one, huh? Oh, wow, there are different arts for Wrath. I think my favorite Wrath art is the Kev Walker art. Just because I really like that it goes with the Damnation art. You like the From the Vault art with the weird Heliod on it? Everything has changed. I'm going to just scoop this game. I don't think we're winning this anytime soon. And I think our time is more valuable. Um. All right, so we're going to have Memora side. There's some cards that are just not good. Fatal Push is not good. Um, Abrupt Decay is very good. Engineered Explosives is very good. Scavenging is also pretty good. Brown Scale not really needed because we're not going infinite. I don't like Brutality because they rarely have cards in hand. <laughs> Take out a thought seize, take out a raven's crime, and I think that's fine. Oh, definitely keep this hand. We can get a stomping ground into we can get a Dakmore salvage into a stomping ground, play Lotus Cobra. Which seems good. Oh, the weird Heliod art. Oh, no. Why are you the way that you are? Leave you black and blue like the dark slick shores. We've been dancing with Mr. Brownstone. He's been knocking. That's a song about heroin, if you guys didn't know that. That Guns N' Roses song, Dancing with Mr. Brownstone, is a song about heroin. He won't leave me alone. No, no, no. Wow, take the Memora side. The fear is real. Basically, every song is a song about heroin. Touche. Let's get a Stomperino. And play Crobrano. Oh, pernicious dude. I I have also missed it. We've had some good times together, you and I. Sarah, five months in a row. Love it. Love it. Also, on March 22nd, which should be this Thursday, MTG Arena is going to be live to stream. So hopefully you guys are excited about that because I'm looking forward to playing some MTG Arena and streaming it for you guys. It's probably... I'm probably going to try to split my time between the two uh, the two games. Really? Hmm. I guess we could have we could have surgical, but like I don't really care about thought season. I I didn't think you'd have I didn't think you'd have a second one. If you happen to have a second uh, ancient stirrings in hand, I'll feel really silly, but. Hey, I think we're just actually playing Edge of Autumn because we don't want to draw Emrakul, so. Or we could we could actually grapple with the past here, hit a land. That actually gives us two lands, which then lets us play. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, Gitrog Froggy. I don't think we're going to actually be able to grab that, though. I think we need to land here, unfortunately. Shuffle it all back. Get Trog on top. Get Trog on top. Actually, we don't want to get Trog on top yet. We want to go Bloodstained Mire. Add a green. Sack you. We'll get an Overgrown Tomb here. Pay the life. Black. Uh, oh, actually, we didn't need to pay that. Oh, we can actually Realms Uncharted here, which, you, which is probably better. Maybe... Maybe not. 
No, we'll just we'll just edge here. So we got two green, two black. We can get another red because we're gonna need it anyway. This is so much mana. Just pass. Oh wow! Did okay, cool. That was cool. Did you see that Lotus Cobra go up in the red zone for a second and then come right back? That was cool. Oh my god! I should have just I should have just surgical this extra this ancient stirrings. I don't actually care about Graft Digger's Cage at all. If that's what you're getting with a with an Ancient Stirring, I could care less. Island's gone. Graft Digger's Cage is gone. You're drawing a jar? Sure. I'm pretty sure we're just going to Realms Uncharted during upkeep because we don't want to draw this. We actually don't care about this Overgrown Tomb. Let's get Dakmore, uh, Ghost Quarter, Verdant Catacombs, and Wooded Foothills. I feel like that's our go-to. Oh, we get to draw Liliana. That's pretty good. Hmm. Okay. black sack this dude uh we're not hoping to get anything with surgical surgicals in the part of the main deck it's just uh it's good to take out their some other things um blood crypt just get a forest Pretty sure we're just getting rid of Dakmore Salvage here. Oh, War of Invention. That was a hit. Sure. You get to look at my scavenging ooze, which you know is there. All right, if we lose the game because we missed a, a point, a, two hits with Lotus Cobra, I'm probably going to file compensation because that was really frustrating. You could literally see him go into the red zone and then be like, oh, change your mind. Yep, you got it, Welding Jar. Did anyone see what the other card was? Because I, I forgot they drew with Mishra's Bobble, so there was another card and I just didn't look. I guess it's Mox Opal. Why are you playing the second Mox Opal? I don't understand. Just to keep cards... Few, like I would say it's to keep fewer cards in hand for... I guess you're going to have to discard it anyway, so I don't, none of it makes sense, I guess. Um, let's get the War of Invention here. One, two, three, four. This guy. And we got Gitrog on top. That's pretty good. Everybody discards. Get in there. And they get to draw Thoughtseize. Oh, interesting. All right. Random for everybody. Well, it can't be War of Invention. That's pretty good because we can just make you sacrifice that and not actually care about it. Nope, definitely not doing that. It 
It's your boy. So they're dead on board unless they hit in steering bridge off the top. That seems good. That is not in steering bridge off the top. Oh, got him. All right. I was okay with what happened there. How about you? Inquisition hits everything except for... Actually, it doesn't hit Padim, so it's probably just better to have Thoughtseize in there. Like, we don't care about the two life, really. We have yet to be able to combo off. Engineer Explosives for, like, one seems pretty insane against them. I wish we had more than one Abrupt Decay. That is one desire I have. I don't hate this hand. It's kind of slow, though. I think we can keep it because we can make them discard with Liliana and then try to blow everything up. <laughs> Kettle corn jalapeno chips. Oh my god, that is the best thing I've ever seen. Wow. The memes are so real right now. That is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Thank you so much. Kettle corn jalapeno chips. I could not be more impressed. Yep, you got it. Take the Liliana. That's amazing. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. <laughs> kettle corn. Kettle, kettle corn. <laughs> That's not right. Kettle corn. Oh, God, so good. That's our only Liliana, too, which is sad. Is it cool I host your page? What do you mean, like on Twitch? I do not see why not, Brian. I do not see why not. You got it. <gasps> Getting froggy. They also have Padim, though, so they can go like Artifact, Artifact, turn on their... Ugh, that's gross. And we have to sack this to... To keep the Gitrog monster. Tin Man, thank you so much, man. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Back up to one. All right, sweet. Um, I don't think we crack now. I think we just take the damage. We draw the Gitrog monster. Let's get an overgrown tomb here. Does this deck... Yeah, this deck has an island in it, doesn't it? That's sad. I would love to ghost quarter them and, and, and deny them an island, but they also have Mox Opal, so... None of these things are possible. We're just going to play this so we can actually... Uh, grapple. They might have another land, though, is the thing. They might, have a fourth, they might not have a fourth land here. If they don't, they're probably just going to put Padim in the graveyard, which actually... Targeting us. Sure. Yep, yeah, I yield to that. Yeah, of course they have another land. I'm pretty sure we're actually just Lightning Storm Padim if we can get another get another red source, which we're struggling to do. I guess we can go we can go ghost yeah, we can actually do it no matter what. Because we can get Lotus Cobra, play Lotus Cobra, play Ghost Quarter, get a mana. Uh, sack it to kill one of our lands. Yeah, we'll just get Wooded Foothills here. I just don't want you drawing more lands to, uh, drawing more cards in general, I guess. Um, we want the green, so we're just gonna get Stomping Ground. Oh, 
Oh, no! No! You gotta hold priority when you do that because it doesn't just automatically do that. That's a really obscure interaction. Yeah, good times. Yeah, that was rough. See, this is what I meant about uh, about misplaying because, like, unless you play with Lightning Storm nearly like any any reasonable amount, which is none in modern, uh, unless you're playing ad nauseum, you're really not going to know to hold priority at that moment. Oh, and then you just get to take my Gitrog monster. Wow, this is, everything's working out really well for you. And you get to play another Codex Shredder? That's pretty good. I guess we can grapple to get back Gitrog Monster. We can play a land, grapple. And now you just name... Do you name Lightning Storm with this card? Or do you name... Liliana of the Veil. Okay, that's actually fine. Everything's actually fine right now. Sanctum. We're actually just fine. We're going to go... We're going to play Ghost Quarter. And then we're going to grapple with the pass to get back... Get Trog Monster. If we had one more land, we can do both. But we do not. One more mana, not one more land. We're going to pop out these graveyards because it seems relevant. I don't care about this dude. I think we're closer to the dog chilling in the burning house meme fine, but... Yep, don't care about that. I don't care about any of these artifacts you got. Grapple. Oh, got my boy back. I wonder if they try to mill the Verdant Catacombs. I guess not. Bound out. Bound out. Bound out. Bound out. Bound out. Bound out. Got the jar. Mountain donated $3. Remember when you used to love me? What happened? <laughs> oh, my God. I love you all. That's amazing. All right, so now we got this guy and we can do some shenanigans, I think. So we get to draw this, and I don't think we're drawing that. What are we sacrificing here? We're gonna sacrifice a ghost quarter. And then we're gonna draw It's realms on char. I guess we should have played. We should have paid the mana for that. I don't. I like I said, we're gonna mess up a bunch. We just don't want Inquisition. It doesn't do anything for us. But I'd rather have the four lands here. Uh, get a salvage. Get a another ghost quarter. Get an overgrown tomb. Nope. Uh, not an overgrown tomb. We'll get a this guy and a this guy. Nope. This guy. Come on. There we go. Done. Also, these lands go into the graveyard, so we get to draw more cards. Uh, get salvage. Oh my god, did we just draw an engineered explosives? Do we do it for one or three? We gotta do it for one, right? Gets rid of so many things.
Like, we know the drawing academy ruins. That doesn't die, so I don't know why you do that. Somebody touching my spaghetti. I probably should just commit to the mountain. You're right. It deserves better. I think we're going to lose the time here, but I don't feel like we're going to lose to that much more. Yep, there's ruins. I don't know what else you hit. Double bridge. Don't care. All right, we're just going to sack regular land here. Oh, we could play double lands. Yeah, that's nice. Playing two lands a turn is pretty good. Uh, I guess we're just going to go Life from the Loam. Ghost Quarter. Here's where, we, here's where we go off if we don't die. Always yield to that, don't care. What did they put on top? Needle? Oh, sorry. That was awkward. Uh, we'll get back a... No, that's fine. I'll just draw a card. Search for your land. Uh, cancel. Just want to draw regular cards now. How many basics you got here? The shadows. Thank you so much, man. I will pay attention to that after we win this or lose this, depending on what happens. They're obviously going to needle... Uh, cancel. Get rid of this and get rid of this. Draw more cards. Oh, that's a good one. All right. So do we play every land we could? Yes. All right. Go to the, go to the end step. Discard Emrakul. Discard Dakmore Salvage. Overgrown Tomb. This is definitely the part of the show where uh, we end up losing to damage. Or not damage, but uh, cards, right? I see what happens here. Okay, so what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to draw the uh, the lightning storm and just have enough lands in hand to go off. But I don't think, with three minutes on the clock, I don't think we're going to have time to have enough time to do it. Did they not play Ghost Quarter? That's interesting. Oh, did they not play Needle? That's cool. <laughs> Legendary, huh? That's pretty good. Spire, yep. Dakmore salvage on top. That's annoying. Don't don't prompt me for everything, good lord. Go 
Ghost Quarter, Salvage, Verdant, Blood Grip. Don't care. It doesn't matter. Sure. Oh, oh, we're dead. Yeah, we just can't play fast enough here. There's too many triggers. I wonder if we can just get to a point where we can just cast Emrakul. <laughs> Why would that's the only triggered ability I have? Why wouldn't you just put it on the stack automatically? Three, four, five. Oh, pirate spell bomb's pretty good. Were for two. You still get Pithing Needle. Sure. Water Sports Drew, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Just kill Lotus Cobra here? No. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Doesn't matter. We can't attack with Emrakul anyway, right? So like, there's no point to doing any of this. We just don't have enough time right now. So I think we're dead. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, we're just gonna concede here because we can't win this game. Um. But ideally, our next matches will be faster. And Lantern is just a miserable deck to play against. We everybody knows that. No one is convinced that Lantern is fun. Maybe it's fun to play, but it's not fun to play against. Oh, this hand seems great. We'll keep this hand. It's got everything we want. Except for Emrakul, but I mean, we can't... We can't begrudge Thoughtseize, Uncharted, Gitrog... Oh, God. River of Tears. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I'm confused. Beautiful Chicken donated five. Please come draft me again soon. Wow. Oh my god, you guys are amazing. I have no idea what's even happening right now. I guess we're just gonna Raven's Crime here. We'll get a... Uh, Beautiful Chicken, thank you so much. You are awesome. Uh, unfortunately, Rivals of Ixalan, not only is Rivals of Ixalan probably not getting drafted again, but it's, uh, it, you're a mythic, so it's really hard to draft you to begin with. You know what I mean? 
So uh, unfortunately, beautiful chicken, we may have seen our, our our time together might be at the it might be at its end. But I'll always love you. So I think uh, I think that's the the relevant thing to take away here. So they have oh my god. What do you do when you want to cry? I think we're just ghost quartering here. And by ghost quartering, I mean uh, Raven's criming. Unbelievable. Sure. Stomper. All right, this time we're going to maximize our time here. Ooh, do I just Inquisition? No, we, we, we Realms Uncharted because we want to hit lands here. Yeah, don't care about bridges. We're not attacking. And they have no cards and no relevant pieces in hand. What would you do for a lantern of insight? I don't know why. I don't know what's going on right now. Oh, Cavern and Salvage. You actually you got this on Ghost Quarter. I don't know why you put this on the thing. Inquisition, you are basically dead to me. Is Raven's Crime an instant? Of course it's not. Oh, thank God. Woo! I was like, if you just top deck a Thought Seize, I will cry. Let's go frog. Black, green, this guy. Ribbit, ribbit, my man. Let's get a, doesn't matter. They have no cards in hand. We can play the salvage here, actually. Uh, we, do we can we not? Do we play two lands this turn? Whatever. All right, we can't play anything in response, so we're just gonna. Uh, yeah, we'll sacrifice this guy. This guy. Surgical. Don't think we actually care about that though. I don't think we care about any of these cards. I guess we're just gonna play Noose Constrictor because it gives us a way to uh, gives us a way to discard lands for free. Sacrifice Salvage. Draw a card. Oh what? Oh okay. That was I was like what? Mm, draw. Let's draw salvage. We can mill lands. We did. Draw salvage. Didn't mill any more lands. But we can play both salvages and kill a one ensnaring bridge, right?
The problem is they can just get it back with Academy Ruins, so we're going to have to keep up Surgical Extraction. What's going on? T. Ravis, thank you so much for the sub, man. Welcome back. Three months in a row. Appreciate it. Preach, as the kids say. Give me them. Um, we actually want to draw real cards at some point. Uh, still want to draw real cards? Maybe? No? Okay. So what we can do is discard Dakmore Salvage to this guy. Turn three cards. Oh, I'd rather see, I'd rather see, I'd rather, I bet you'd rather see me than Lantern any day. Turn three, Karn? I don't know, man. It's tough, but maybe. Maybe. Is really the, uh... Um, so we can actually use this guy to discard Ghost Quarter, because we don't actually... Golgari Brown Scale, huh? Mr. Brown Scale. Bam, bam, bam. Is this are they both Drudge too? Yeah, so we'll just get the land here. I don't care about this. I'm never going to respond to my own noose constrictor. Are we we should have actually a fling for the noose constrictor. I think one fling is pretty cool here. There's a lot of Dakmore salvages here. Oh my god. Uh, we'll just cancel for now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, boys. So how do we do this? We can Lightning Storm. If we Lightning Storm, we can discard, 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 but we only have enough lands to like... We might not have enough, right? I think we can wait. Or, so here's the thing. Okay, so we discard Dakmore Salvage, and then we draw D Dakmore Salvage. Is that right? Oh, I see. Oh, this just got real. Oh, everything's coming together now, boys. Nope. Four counters, huh? Just card a land card. This one. Cancel. So what are we looking at here? It's it's 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, so. Oh, got him. Boom. That was good times. Who saw that coming? I guess I guess we kind of did, right? I should have a got him sound effect. I got this bad boy.
All right, so what did I bring in last time? We brought in... Uh, explosives were great. Memoricide was good. Where are the other two cards? Ooze was good, right? Ooze gets rid of their, their Academy Ruins targets and everything like that. I will play first. This hand seems pretty good. I'm going to keep it just because it's engineer explosives and these faithless looters. Looters, though, tutors. Oh, we do have the hot got him, actually. We can do that. Oh, I like Edge of Autumn. Like, knowing Edge of Autumn is on top is so great here because we can just not sack this. We'll get a Stomping Ground and a Ghost Quarter. Nope. Let's. Oh my god, we almost did. Let's go you. And we'll go you. There might be a delay on the meme. I have to actually... I don't know why. It's, it's been like that for a while now. Codex Shredder. Sure. Oh, I think our energy just died. That's weird. Maybe not. I guess we're good. We're dropping a ton of frames, but hopefully that's... Uh, do we just get to draw Lotus Cobra here? That's Cass. Don't give me Lotus Cobra. Oh, that's next turn, I guess. All right. Oh, this is your turn? We just F6 our turn. That's cool. I'm having a good time. I want this Lotus Cobra to be quite honest, but they have Pirate Spell Bomb, so maybe it's not that great. Uh, let's get Ghost Quarter, Salvage, Verdant, and Mire. What? What didn't I? God, this is so stupid. Dakmore, there we go. Dakmore Faden. Does Oh High Mark still echo? Let me know if Oh High Mark still echoes. Oh High Mark. Um. Yeah, we don't. Um, does it matter? I don't know. News constrictor, sure. The sound is delayed for all of them, and I don't know why. It's really frustrating. I'll have to fix it. Um. So, engineer explosives on one is pretty good, right? That seems good. Let's get rid of Dakmore and Ghost Quarter. Play a Blood Crypt untapped is fine. I'm gonna draw a Mox Opal. So we can actually shut off your shut off your lots of things, I guess. Mox Opal comes down. You'll have two artifacts. Sure. Leyline of Sanctity. Well, that's not getting cast anytime soon. Unless you have a land, and then, then it's getting cast immediately, which is unfortunate. I don't think we have an answer for Leyline of Sanctity, actually. Bobble. Double Ensnaring Bridge. All right, we can actually hope to reanimate Leyline somehow.
We know what's on top. It's like a stupid land. So we're just going to get Ghost Quarter, Salvage, Wooded Foothills, and Overgrown Tomb. I don't It doesn't matter. Like, these lands don't really matter at this point. Nope. Oh, get froggy. All right. So we can actually take them off one of their white sources, which is pretty good here. Let's get rid of Glimmer Void. Green. Cancel, cancel. Edge of Autumn is pretty good. Thoughtseize is pretty good. We'll get rid of Wooded Foothills and a... All right, so next time we can just play Get Drug Monster, and I think we're actually in good shape at that point. No, we're not. All right, that's fun. Good times. It's got to be Get Drug Monster. What? Oh, because you have Pithing Needle, so you're going to name Lightning Storm, and you're not going to care about Get Drug Monster or Lightning Storm. That's pretty good. I'm okay with these choices because we have so many ways to get around that. Well, that's a good one. Oh, I'll get an Overgrown Tomb. Oh, we actually should have probably cycled Edge of Autumn there. But I don't want to go too low on lands. We'll just sacrifice the Swamp. Uh, I like you having an Inquisition on top. That's pretty good. Oh, I, I would say I don't care about that, but I kind of do because of Liliana. Like, Liliana is real good against you, but... Again, our deck has ways to deal with stuff like this. That was actually pretty good. So now we can get Lotus Cobra. We can get Ghost Quarter. So we can go uh, Crack, Your Spire. Always yield from that guy. Now we're just going to draw a regular card here. I imagine you can't have that many lands right and we're going to actually use this ability for a green sacrifice this to kill you uh, we don't want another Gitchrog monster so we're actually just going to deck more salvage here because it will let us draw another card if we hit a land we did not Go deck more salvage oh that's not what we want to do actually we can cycle this still it doesn't really matter Let's get a red. We also have a Faithless Looting. Let's just Faithless Loot here. Discard, Dakmore Salvage, and I guess Dakmore Salvage number two. Uh, nope, we're definitely drawing this Abrupt Decay. And we've played all the lands we can play, so we're going to pass. And I feel like we're in good shape here. And we can actually just take them off their lands, which is pretty sweet if we can draw... Um, If we can take them off their... Uh, if we can get life from the loam. That's what I'm talking about here. Um, I don't think we want to draw that just because we do have a cavern on top. So we can actually just draw the cavern and be fine. Draw ooze and be fine. Um, so we have three lands. We can play four or five lands. We can... Attack with Lotus Cobra, which is nice. Uh, we can kill the Pithing Needle... And play a Verdant Catacombs. Get a red. Cavern of Souls named Frog because it doesn't really matter. Get another red. Get 
Do we have a way to draw a, a card here? We do need a land. This is a real got a moment here. Guess we'll let these resolve. Nope. And we're at what? Eight, nine, 10, 11. Uh, let Emrakul shuffle back because we have all the Dakmores in hand. This should do it. So what is it, 15? That's exactly 17. Oh, nice. Got him. That's pretty sick. All right, so... Uh... Let's try again, I guess. I thought that was game three. I got real excited. We also have 10 minutes. They have 19. Ugh, that's gross. But we kind of knew that was coming. I will keep this hand. They don't have any uh, ley lines on the opening play, so that's good. I always, always at the Inquisition or... Uh... Yeah, I thought this was game three, too. I thought we did win game one against them. I, cause we we lightning storm twice, right? Didn't we kill them lightning storm? Did we? What did we? How did we lose game one? I'm really confused. Wow, we milled ourselves? I didn't even realize we milled ourselves. That's super awkward. Whatever. The point is correct. We could have played it differently. I just wasn't paying attention to the life total. Or not the life total, the deck total. So, I don't really feel bad about that. That's super weird, man. Well, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. 12 months. Good lord. What do we name with this? What's their win con? Tell me what to name with Memora side because I have n utterly no idea. Is it Word of Invention? What just happened? Did we just win the match? All right. Well, that's that, I guess. Uh, they said, I love control decks and thought I would like Lantern, but it's not for me.
I don't know if they're still in the chat. Um, yeah, all right. I guess we don't have to. I was gonna say were. Um, wow, I, I'm interested to go back and see the replay of of match one of game one because like, I'm pretty sure we. Wow, that's so weird, dude. All right, let's see what happens here. All right, there's Lightning Storm. Okay, 14, 13, 11, 8, 6, 2. Oh, before it resolves, we killed ourselves. All right, that's really sad. We should have discarded. We All we had to do... So we, went, we won this game. We just technically... Um, we technically lost it. We, officially, we should have milled... We should have uh, discarded Emrakul to Noose Constrictor. That's, that's basically all it took. Um, news constrictor would have saved us. So the deck did win. I just piloted it incorrectly. So I consider that a technical victory. And uh, no harm, no foul. So. All right, so let's keep that in mind. Also, when I'm playing against Lantern, I'm also playing faster because I really don't want to time out against Lantern. Because that's not fun. Let's keep it going. All right, let's let's we're looking for um we're looking for uh lantern number 3. You guys ready? Of course you are. We're leading with uh this because we want to save Verdant Catacombs for Lotus Cobra. Hey, not a lantern deck. A, a dangerous deck, a, a very scary deck. What is the scariest of these cards? Rift Bolt is three. Skullcrack is three. Lava Spikes three. Lava Mancer is potentially more than three. I don't think we have an answer to to, to Lava Mancer. I think we take Lava Mancer. You got four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, until thirteen damage in hand. Yeah, we'll take Lava Mancer. And then we can Ravens Crime you twice. Ugh. Tiger Nate, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. What do they do? Suspend the Riffle? Yeah, they, like you do. Pretty sure we're just going to play Lotus Cobra here. They can't unload their hand. That's not, that's not how that works. And next turn we can actually go Raven's Crime, Life from the Loam. Crack Verdant, discard. No, we can't do that. We'd have to draw land, I guess. Actually, being able to... Having them kill the Lotus Cobra. So we know they have Boros Charm in hand. All right. All right. Don't be a land. Oh, it was a land. So I think we just get a swamp here. And then we can discard to uh Next turn we can life from the loam two lands. Skull cracks. So now you know, you know four, five, six, seven. We probably have ten damage in hand, which is not great. You're gonna Boros Charm us now though, which means I can get rid of it. Yep.
Lava Spike gone, so we don't know any of the cards you have in your hand. But you do have two cards in hand. That's a frog. Another skull crack. Sure. Turns out Raven's Crime is pretty good against the burn deck. All right, you have no cards in hand. Top deck mode it is. I really don't like going to six here, though. I'll be honest with you. All right, I feel better about it now. I do want to hit a fifth land, though, because getting to... Uh, give me a land, give me a land, 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 Yes! That's all we wanted. And we'll get a red green because we're missing some red greens. No. <laughs> uh, nope. Don't want to do that. So we could go Lotus. No, we're just playing Gitrog Monster. Let's not be silly here. Let's cycle this, get rid of Ghost Quarter. Always yield to this guy. Uh, nope. Not ideal. Brown scale would be great here. Ooh, so close. I mean, as long as we can dodge a Boros Charm, uh, we're in good shape. Rift Bolt. Well, as long as we can dodge any second burn spell, we're in good shape. <laughs> hmm. No, we're actually going to add black and we'll sack the swamp. We need a Dakmore Salvage here. We're just going to actually draw this guy instead. If we hit a Salvage, we're in good shape. Mm, yep, empty the pool. Liliana does not do it. God, we should have to dodge one burn spell. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. I think we're dead. Ghost Quarter, Swamp. We're gonna kill this because it shuts off their their outs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, we have to pass here. I think we played two lands, right? Yep. All right. All right. One time. It shuts off their Boros Charm, which is why we did that. I can't believe that the, the username is Kettle Corn Jalapeno Chips. That is such gas, dude. Oh, my God. I can't even handle it. All right. See if I'm dead. <sighs> cool. Always a pleasure, Burn. Always a pleasure. Corsair of Crufix. Scavenging Ooze. 
Veil Push still doesn't seem great here. I'm definitely taking out Thought Seizes. Those seem terrible. Extraction seems bad. Maybe Push is probably the best option. Kalidus can come in. That guy's just fine. Everything else seems good. I like everything else. Take out Liliana for bringing another Fatal Push. Wow, so are Maith. That is messed up, man. I thought we were bros. Turns out you're only bros with Burn. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess his hand is fine. News Constrictor actually seems pretty decent here. Monastery Mentor seems just terrible. So, yeah, we're just going to News Constrict here. Some focal never sack token, but then some fo <laughs> then again some focal. It's Kalidus, the slack jawed vampire rebel. I guess he's not a rebel, right? He's a Wow. Okay. Okay. I will gladly discard one card to kill one of your monastery sisters. Aggressive. Oh, can we push? Let's push. Okay, I don't actually know. I've never, if it's from Game Grumps, I've never heard them say it. I will block. Wow. Emrakul. I'm just blocking. Rift Bolterino. Sure. Hey, it's an Emrakul. We can just keep the Emrakul in hand in case you want to uh, discard it to News Constrictor. However, there's no way this doesn't go face, right? Sure. I'm liking it. Let's get a red source. I like red mana. That's a cutie. I wanted to wait to crack Verdant until we shuffled the Emrakul, but I also don't. I also don't want to wait. I don't want to wait to find me a shark land. Da, 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 da. Oh, can it be? Now who's the aggressor? I don't want to wait 
for them to find a thing but two cards in hand i feel safe give me, give me a courser of crew fix man one time give me that courser of crew fix that is not a courser of crew fix although we're getting real close to emerald mana right one two three four five six This is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven damage right here. Mm, okay. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage now. get a shuffle on I'll do it now because if they want to kill it with a three damage spell we can pump it again and again and it's lethal on board without pumps so that's pretty good you got it here we go Should we have just discarded our hand, put them to one, so that they couldn't crack their their land? <laughs> God, I love burn. Oh, I love it so much. Dead on board. So, I mean, again, like if we didn't crack our fetch land, though, like we would have been fine. So. But I'm not sure we would have had an extra mana there to actually do the things we wanted to do. Well, this hand is gas. And by gas, I mean basically hot farts. Did you know mountains in those printed land in history? Yeah, that is true because there's an equal number of mountains. There's equal number of basic lands in every set except for mountains which were printed exclusively in antiquities, which is interesting. Or Arabian Nights, rather, not antiquities. There is a mountain in antiquities and no other basic land. So it is, uh, there's just a higher frequency of mountains than any other basic land. But that actually might not be true. And I'm not sure if that's if that's a if that's just the thing that people think because of the Arabian Nights inclusion. Um, because dual decks would have to be evenly distributed, right? Like there would have to be like two green dual decks, two red dual decks, two blue, two white, and two black dual decks. Uh, or planeswalker decks or any other deck like that. Because if there's like more blue and white dual decks, or planeswalker decks or whatever, uh commander decks, whatever, then you might it might be possible to have more blue, more islands and planes, right? So, this hand is actually great, though. I bet it is calculable. It just doesn't seem worth it. <laughs> Like I bet you could actually you could actually figure out how many basic lands are printed in everything. Um, actually, it, it might be incalculable to know. Yeah, actually, you might be right because you could tell how many how many sets had them, and then you can assume an even distribution. Like if if you know one dual deck had mountains and and forests, and one had islands and plains, you can assume that each one was printed. There were a hundred printings of each, right? So if you're willing to assume that all the printings are equal, it might be possible. Uh, it's not gonna. It wouldn't be fun by any means, but it might be possible to do. Utopia Sprowl. So we're just getting an overgrown with this bad boy, right? <sighs> Daddy's come home. All right, let's take a peek. Tracker, Excavator, Heartless Summoning. All right, we're just going to get rid of Excavator here. 
I don't want to wait for my pie to get colder. All right, cemetery's gone. Summoning's gone. Tracker's coming down right now. No tracker? Why wouldn't you play tracker there? I don't understand. Can we play Gitrog Monster next turn? Because that seems like gas -o -lean. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we can do it. It is the Gitrog Mirror match. Holy crap, you're right. That's hilarious. You just crack your clue? Crack it. Crack it. Crack the clue. Don't kill my Lotus Cobra. Really? Really? Like, you had to draw this in two turns. You literally had two draw steps to hit, hit, a, hit a fatal push. I like that you just auto-corrected Franklin to framing. Where's Birmingham, Alabama? What what's uh what's the format? Oh my god, this is so annoying. How are they doing so much better than we are? I don't understand what's going on right now. We were doing really well. If they didn't like if they just didn't top to this, we'd literally have Gitrog Monster in plan. I don't think they'd have any answer to it. They had two draw steps to hit a fatal push. Legacy? No, that sounds unfun to me. I don't even have a legacy deck. And you're going to be like, well, I have an extra of this deck. And I'm going to be like, okay, so I'm going to pay like X amount of dollars to play a GP with a legacy deck I'm completely unfamiliar with. Don't you have fun doing other things than, than going to GPs? That just that seems to be less less fun to me. Hanging out with you in Florida seems fine too. I can just do that. I don't have to be in Alabama to do that. I guess we're dead, right? Like we have to block this guy now because he took the stupid wrong land. I think we're pretty much. I think we were dead anyway. Though, like they can crack two clues, so they go to this guy goes to seven. If we got a different lane, we'd be at nine. This guy also attacks, and they can just play another. They're just gonna play. Actually, they can go uh, play another land from the graveyard. Get two lands. And they have three clues, so they can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because they can play like a million different lands. Um, so they can crack at least four clues. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This guy's a nine. We'd be at nine, so we have to block no matter what. Sure.
Uh, Robert, I don't see any Birmingham. I don't see any Birmingham, Alabama event list, buddy. It's a double GP, but that just means there's legacy on Friday and Saturday and standard on Saturday and Sunday. I don't think this is also a Birmingham, Alabama GP, buddy. I think you're just making this up. Yeah, there's only there's only one GP in Birmingham. It's it's two GPs in one city. There's no Birmingham in there's no GP in Birmingham, uh, US. Oh boy. So we're definitely bringing in Damnation here. That's that's a cool card. Okay, we're going to we're going to we're going to end here. <laughs> yeah, man, let's hang out in Florida. That sounds good. Let's do that instead. Damnation can come in, Kalidus can come in. Don't care about extraction. Fatal push can come in. Hmm. I think the Faithless looting out. I don't feel like we have time for that. Scavenging Ooze is probably good here. Zaxor, what's going on, buddy? I will get rid of the Raven's Crime. Probably a thought sees. Everything else is pretty small. We can we can deal with that. Got a man cold, so you know what's a man cold? Is that different than a fe oh, than a woman cold? I will play first. Oh boy, look at this beauty. Woo, ship it. Oh boy, we're doing well here. Not a fault of the deck, unfortunately. You know what? Sure. <laughs> Bottom. Oh, look at this. They got a Gitrog monster themselves. Corsair Caustic Crawler. What the shit is this? Remember Lander's Battlefield? You may have target creature get negative one, negative one until end of turn? What in the hell? What am I even looking at? What up, Sathos? All right, so we knew you had that. Did you seriously just top deck like a Thoughtseize? Oh, come on, dude. Oh, Utopia Sprawl, fantastic. So now you can definitely play your Corsair on turn two. That's very good. Well, you don't have an answer for this guy in your hand. Come on, fetch land one time. So I assume Corsair of Crufix is coming down here. Yep. Life on top. Fetch land one time. That is a noose constrictor. Not to be confused with the fetch land. Or a third land of any kind. Oh, now you get the free overgrown tomb, which is pretty good. Do you play other Corsair first? Tireless tracker. Oh my god, did you steal those Emrakuls? Oh my god, oh my god. 
I don't care about either of these things. You're going to do what you're going to do. Did you see the other card that was on the top? That was right before the Overgrown Tomb that they drew? I forgot what it was. That's not a fetch land. Ah, it's frustrating. So they just play Gitrog Monster, right? Oh, it was Loam. Okay. So Loam. Sprawl. Ghost Quarter Loam Sprawl in hand. Sure. Thankfully, we still have one Swamp in our deck. Oh, look. A Gitrog monster of their own. Hmm. So basically, if they just go Caustic, Caustic, Caustic Crawler, kill our Lotus Cobra, we're basically just dead, I think. One, two, three, four. They also just exiled our Lightning Storm, which is our win condition, because they have Bajookabog. And they happen to draw Bajookabog. So, everything's going wrong here, unfortunately. I wonder how I ended up having some of the worst luck on Magic Online. No blocks. One, two, three, four. They have five mana. They can cost a crawler, but I think they played a second land already. It was aggressive. Watch, we're gonna we're gonna top deck life from the loam. You ready? Literally any other land, we could play Gitrog Monster. The one land that we can't play Gitrog Monster with. All right, well. Not going well so far. Awkward city. All right. What have we needed? We've needed more ways to, like... I feel like we're just waiting until we get the Gitrog monster. And we might even be having a difficult time getting enough mana to cast it. Recommendations so far are... Um, I don't know if I like Zombie Infestation now that I've played with the deck a bit. Because once you have Zombie Infestation... Like, once you're able to keep, like, going through the Zombie Infestation, like... The loop where you're like, discard land, discard land, make a guy, draw a card. Um, at that point, you already have Gitrog Monster in play. I do like adding another Abrupt Decay. There's a lot of one of, like, Collective Brutality, Abrupt Decay, Liliana. And they're all cool, but, I mean, I think we want to focus on the things that are best for us. Oh, waiting for Gatrog? Yeah, that was that was a that's a classic. Well, it's actually a classic book, but um, or is it a play? Yeah, it's a play. All right, so all 
All right, let's try this again. This hand seems good. We're just going to lead with this guy. Um, if we draw another land, we can actually just play Lotus Cobra. And I'd rather save the Wooded Foothills for the third turn Gitrog monster, but what are the odds that's going to happen? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's get a... Here we go. Here we go. Scroll up and read your question. All right. Honest question. You love playing more obscure decks than established tier lists. How do you end up on... Uh, I ended up on Eldrazi because I was looking at the league decks that went 5-0 that Wednesday night before the Pro Tour, and I found a Soul Tie. I found the list I played. Looked really fun. I, I figured even if I didn't do well, I'd have a good time playing it because it was cool, and it played cool Eldrazi's like Thought Not Seer and Reality Smasher. Uh, turns out Eldrazi were utterly broken in Modern. I played a few matches with the deck on Magic Online. It seemed good, but I had no idea that it would be as good as it was. And uh, I ended up... Because at the time, like, you, you don't forget, at the time it was obscure. The format had not been discovered yet. Like, like the Eldrazi decks had not been discovered yet, except for by a few pro teams. And there were certain pro teams, like most pro teams, except for like two of them, had no idea that the Eldrazi were as good as they were. So it, it, it was an obscure deck for all intents and purposes. Or, if you want to say it incorrectly, for all intensive purposes. Which is weird. Fetch land, fetch land, fetch land. Get wrecked, Tron. Unless they go Karn, Exile, Megatrog monster, in which case... Well, that's just sad. Let's get a black. I was not practiced with the list other than like four, four matches or something. Something ridiculous. It was not a lot of matches. All right, so we're just hoping for no turn three Tron and Karn, I guess. We could cycle this, sack a land, get another land. I don't know if that's even good, though. Maybe it is, though. Maybe it is, because we get a... Okay, so we sack a land. If we get a land, if we hit, like, just a basic land, or a land that comes into play untapped, we can play that. Okay, that's actually not terrible. That's worse. No. All right, so we basically broke even there. But now we have three lands for life from the loam. Oh, God, never don't have it. Unbelievable. Absolute gasoline. Oh, hot dang. That is a thing. Let me tell you how bad I feel about that. Not bad at all. 
Oh my god. RW Porn, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Oh god, that was amazing. I guess I'll just kill you now. Rock Lobster. Oh boy, please clip it. Please clip it. I'm going to post, I've been posting clips on, stream highlight clips on YouTube. So, uh, if you guys get a good one. And them exiling their Karn to their own Karn, that's a good one. That, that, that qualifies as a good one. Also, it's so, it's so hard to feel bad. Like, I'm going to be like, oh, I'm so sorry you accidentally clicked your, your turn three car and you misclicked on your turn three car. Like, it's so hard. It sucks. But, like, it's real hard to, like, feel genuine badness. You had a turn three car. With great power comes great responsibility, buddy. You understand? All right, let's just start resolving these. Make sure we have enough. No. Eat the shells. Johnny Echo, thank you so much for the sub, man. Really appreciate it. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Okay, Tron. Let's see. Let's see what we're doing against Tron here. Memoricide seems good, I guess. <laughs> this person has no sh clicking the exile as Karn, but can't seem to click the concede button. Fantastic. I'm going to take out these fatal pushes. Big money grip. Happy Sunday, buddy. Oh no, they're French. I don't know what this is. I took, like, it's either two or four years of French in college, and I actually don't, I don't know what they said. Okay, we don't care about surgical, I don't think. Don't care about push. Don't care about ooze. Don't care about dismember. Don't care about coarser. I think these are the only ones we want. I think, I mean, I think surgical is better than, say, uh, what's it called? There was something I wanted to take out here. Maybe not. Maybe nothing. Whatever. Seems fine. Wow. This Twitch clip, the link is impartial, ugliest, bubble tea, Charlie bit me. That's amazing. Charlie bit me. All right. All right. This hand is good. This hand is good. I will keep. Well, we have a turn three Karn incoming again.
However, if we draw a basic land, we can go Lotus Cobra into... Oh, play a forest. Play a forest or another power plant, because otherwise you just get it. Oh my god! Ah! Come on. God, I'm so tired of dying to stupid... We're so close, man. We were so close. And mine. Oh boy. Yeah, thank God Jace the Mind Sculptor is ruining the format. <laughs> Man. I have I have nothing. I have nothing. Eh, I guess you just get blood crypt here. I don't think any of these things matter. Nope. Exile a card from my hand. We'll get rid of a uh, brown scale. Doo doo brown scale. Grouch eighty six. Thank you so much for the sub, man. Welcome back. Heart all day, boy. Heart heart all day for three months. Three months of all day hearting. One two three four five six seven eight nine mana. You're only adding seven. What can it be? What can it be? Not and we have four ghost quarters in our main deck, which we have not seen yet. Walking Burlista. Walking Barista. Barista. Walking Barista. Nailed it. Oh, a relic of my dad. I'm okay, Dad. Get rid of Grappy. Yeah, I, I I love the suggestion, but they can't really restrict lands in in uh, God in modern. Just you can't restrict anything in modern. We can just abrupt decay this dude. Did they actually? Did they activate their Tron? Or their yeah they yeah they did. They activated Karn targeting my hand. Yeah, I agree. Would be funny. The problem is that like you can't ban cards in modern, or you can't restrict cards in modern because uh, it just it's bad design. Uh, then it becomes a race to who draws the restricted card first, which is why they don't restrict cards in legacy either. So, Keep to myself. Actually, we're going to keep that in hand. We want that in case we have to exile something. Yep, Raven's Crime is a little bit better than... I feel like this is a much different game if they just don't get Karn on turn three. I don't understand why Karn on turn three is an okay, like, an okay thing for modern. Like, it's it's very oppressive. Like, I guess the argument is that it's hard to assemble all three Tron lands in modern, but this it's not. 
I think that the rate that it happens is significantly higher than the difficulty it is to to make happen. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I guess we can't even actually win because you just play Gitrog Monster and they exile that. So we're just going to go to the next game here. Try again. Zaxor, I love that you posted that again. <laughs> I love your commitment, buddy. Frog Cutie all day on the stream today. Too bad we don't have the lands to start to slay. Always fun watching Big Frog Dude in action, even if we lose by a fraction. At least we don't give up and keep on playing because hope is not leaving or what are you saying? Can't win them all and when you play a fun deck. I can't win you all when can't can't win them all when you play a fun deck, but with a good chat, it is more like what the heck. When I saw the deck we play, I was sold. Donate my fetch lands if I die from this cold. <laughs> Oh, love it. All right. I'm going to keep this hand just because of Thoughtseize. They went to six. They'll probably keep on six. No one goes to five. Yep. I blame Charles Gindy. Um, I don't think our life is as relevant here. I'm just going to get Overgrown Tune. We're gonna we're gonna do the old fifteen on turn on turn one. Tower tower plant plant forest. Woo! Oof. That's a thing. This cute, this cutie. Did you just try to exile their expedition maps here? I don't think so. Watch, they're gonna top deck expedition map. No, that's pretty bad. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter. They don't have anything in hand, right? So. What are the odds a mine is going to be in your top your your top five cards? Karn. It's a good dude. Here comes the tower. So in your hand. Oh, what? Come on, dude. If they reveal it, you can't take it. There's no there's no chance that I have priority before they actually Wow. That's amazing. It's literally the third time we've had surgical. We've we've contemplated hitting a card with it and then like they actually draw the card. That's kind of funny to me. Well, at least they can't play Karn next turn, unless they just naturally top deck a uh, a mine. Sure. I'll get an Urza's mine. Because of course you will. I mean, we have a turn to draw Ghost Quarter. Will we do it? That's good if they didn't have Karn in hand. So that's cool. Hmm. Oh, that's, that's awkward, but, like, they have to actually exile this guy. So, 
it's actually not that awkward. That's one. Green. And now we can actually play Bloodstained Mire, sacrifice it. Let's see what happens here. Green. Draw a card. Oh, that was a good one. Let's get Stomping Ground. Not going to pay two. Nope. Okay. All right, we're 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 still good. Forest down. So now three out of your five cards? This is where they just go Oblivion Stone and then just like blow up the Oblivion Stone. They've had two draws, so I'm sure one of them was an Oblivion Stone. Okay, good. <laughs> we get to live another day. So long, Frogman. He's a frog man waiting in the sky. That's a, that's a little David Bowie, frog man. Bounch, bounch. I think we just attack both at Karn. We could attack one at their face, discard Lotus Cobra. Um, and then get an extra two points in. I don't know if that's worth it. Might be. Like, I don't know when we're going to play Cobra, so I think it's actually fine. Put some into 12, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And, like, actually, it's, it's, we're, they're, they're dead on board next turn. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 with both draws. They played a tower, they played a Karn. That's pretty annoying. <laughs> Let's get rid of this guy. Draw two. Can one of them be something good? That is not something good. Um, I'm just going to extract Karn here. See what else is in your hand. Probably nothing. Oh, wow. Forest, forest, power plant. That's brutal. Are these all the same? New Phyrexia, New Phyrexia, New Phyrexia, and one Modern Masters. I don't think it's going to be relevant, but I am going to crop. Th I'm then going to snip this just for. Well, that's awkward. Actually, we should have discarded that. That was bad. I was just thinking of having more lands in play to discard to get Trog Monster, but not to discard, but um, 
to to draw with rather. I mean, we can take two hits from Worm Coil, so. Power Plant. So your hand is Forest, Forest, and whatever you drew. Sure. There's a star man waiting in the sky. I mean, we're just taking this if they attack. They can go to 18. They didn't play anything pre-combat, so I don't think they drew anything good. Water Sports Drew. All right, let's see what you got. Frank on the stream playing Big Froggy G. No mic to Mitch it up, so we're playing all night. We'll have success. We'll have to wait and see. If the Magic Gods are with us, we'll win out the we'll win out the night playing with some dredge lands feeling pretty great unlike my feet which are suffering from bunions oh my god i know where this is going <laughs> frank's playing super well some would say first rate just ask frankie's mom who's in the kitchen with onions wow 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 yeah the emerald's just in here to shuffle the graveyard because you end up uh not having enough cards when you lightning storm out All right. Uh, no harm to add mana here in case we have something good. We did not get something good. That's good. Can we just make this guy infinite big? Is this also combo? News Constrictor also wins. Check two. Thank you so much for two months in a row. Really appreciate it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think we just I think we just go infinite with this guy. There's a star man waiting in the sky. What was it six, twelve, thirteen, fourteen? What is this, 1416 now? Discard my deck, more salvage. This seems pretty okay, right? Oh, we win that game, sweet! That was good times, man. That was great. All right, let's head on over to the end step here. What's going on, guys? All right, so that deck was actually pretty sweet. Um, one of the problems is that it's a modern deck that is trying to cast a five-mana card to combo off, and that's kind of difficult in modern. Um, so, however, it does have a lot of things that it's doing kind of cool. Um, Lightning Storm is a great win condition. So is Noose Constrictor. I actually didn't realize until the last match that Noose Constrictor could also go infinite in the same way that Dakmore Salvage, or uh, mm, thanks to Dakmore Salvage, but could also go infinite in the same way that uh, Lightning Storm can, which is really sweet. And um, I mean, obviously our opponent shouldn't have sacrificed his own Karn to itself. That is really not what you want to be doing with your Karns, especially when you work so hard to get them in play, but uh, that's, that's the way it goes, unfortunately. Um, some of the things I would recommend is maybe focusing on the exact things that you want to be doing with the deck, um, which is like specifically what I've noticed is Noose Constrictor, Lightning Storm, um, Gitrog Monster himself. And then like, cause there's, there's like the one Abrupt Decay, the one Raven's Crime, uh, the one Liliana, and these are all good cards on their own, but your odds of hitting the one you want in a particular match are kind of low, right? Like you're not going to hit Raven's Crime in the match you want Raven's Crime, or you might not hit the one abrupt decay when you really need it. So I'd actually focus on the which ones are the best um, and and just 
make a higher concentration of those. One of the other things I would consider is adding um, some sort of way to reanimate the Gitrog monster. Um, I'm thinking Unburial Rites, but that would require splashing white because you're going to be dredging it into the graveyard sometimes. Um, but a lot of times you get the Gitrog monster in your graveyard, especially if you're playing against Lantern, and there's no real way to get it back. I guess you have Grapple. So in that way, I think having more Grapples would also be a, a good a good thing for the deck. Um, so if you're looking at the deck over here, I could say... I don't like Faithless Looting that much. I think you can actually cut the Faithless Looting and you'd be less reliant on the red. I also never cast Manamorphose and I never felt like it was relevant. Um, so I would actually cut the like the, the the Manamorphose, the Raven's Crime, the 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 two the two Faithless Looting and just add more things like a Grapple. I think a lot of times Grapple's just gonna be better. If you need a land, it's gonna get you a land. If you need a Gitrog monster, it's gonna get you a Gitrog monster. Um, whereas a lot of times Faithless Looting isn't going to do those things. So I think that's worth that, that I think that's worth the inclusion by itself. Otherwise, I think this deck is actually cool enough to to play. Like I think it's cool enough to play. Like I don't know if I take it to like a GP, but it's definitely fun enough to play at like an event, like at, a, at an FNM or like a, you know, a local event. Like I think that's that's pretty sweet and I think that's that says a lot. Um I also felt like we were doing cool things and it wasn't terribly difficult to have it happen i would also relegate the, the brown scale to the sideboard i don't think he's great in the main deck I, I would actually put like two brown scales in the sideboard and maybe cut one of the surgical extractions because i don't think you need to go up to four four is a lot um other than that though i think there's some easy cuts like i think the the brown scales cut i would also i would consider switching out the emrakul for like an ulamog um or any other creature that shuffles when it goes to the graveyard like a blightsteel colossus anything that's closer to 10 or 11 mana because you might actually just be able to hard cast those where i guess i guess blightsteel doesn't shuffle the deck it just shuffles itself so probably like the 10 mana ulamog or a 10 mana kozilek or something um because you're actually much closer to being able to cast those guys than you are emrakul and so i think that's just a better better game plan i think there are a lot of times where we got close to playing like 10 and if you get to if you get to like ulamog mana like old school shuffle into the deck ulamog mana you can destroy like an ensnaring bridge and then attack with your two twos and your six sixes or whatever um so not too bad and i think raven's crime is probably better for the sideboard too as someone just mentioned but um yeah deck was sweet hopefully uh you got some insight out of this and some some some, some advice that's helpful uh thank you so much if you guys are interested in having your own deck taken a look at by me and running through a league and we can have some fun uh i do offer that and you can check it out in my twitch profile uh otherwise thank you guys so much for watching and uh i'll see you guys next time <laughs>